In this video, we're gonna look at how I lost 44 kgs, only working out two and a half days a week. So let's go. Hi guys, I'm here at the gym today, and I wanted to share particularly my journey and how I lost 44 kgs or almost 100 pounds only working out two and a half times. We'll jump into my app on my phone where you'll have a look and you'll see that I averaged about 11 workouts last year. And when I had a summary at the end of the year, my app told me that I worked out an average of 2.5 days a week. So how did I do that? How was that possible? To lose so much weight in a short space of time, only working out two and a half days a week. So that you know, there are different methods and different methodologies for working out, depending on what your goal is. So if you're working out for fat loss or for weight loss, this is the ultimate way to lose weight. But if you're trying to work out for different reasons, like gaining muscle mass, then the program might be different. So with me, when I started my workout program, I really wanted to make sure that I got the most bang for my buck. There's a common term that doctors and pharmacists use when they're prescribing medication for someone. And that term is minimum effective dose. So if you look at it from a medical point of view, when a doctor is giving you medication or starting up on medicine, they want to give you the minimum a dose that will allow you to get the most effective results. Because you know that if you have too much medication, that medication might end up poisoning you or making you even worse or sick. So it's important to make sure that when you're starting off a weight loss program, to start off with the minimum effective dose. And you might be asking yourself, what is the benefit of using the minimum effective dose for workouts? And that comes in three different ways. Firstly, you're looking at your recovery between exercises or workouts. That if you work out and you have a longer recovery time, it means that your body gets to heal, your body gets to recover, and your body is stronger for the next workout. And that is even more important as you reach your 40s and 50s that you actually recover between workouts. Secondly, it means that you'll have less injuries. If you're giving yourself the minimum effective dose of workouts, you're not pushing yourself too far that you get injured. And my number one rule of exercise for fat loss is don't get injured. Because if you get injured, that whole month you're taking, recovering and getting over your injury is a whole month you're not working out. So it's better for me to go 80% at the gym, 90% at the gym and not get injured than to go 110%, get injured and be off for a whole month. And then thirdly, it gives me more tank in the gas. What do I mean by that? It means that if I ever plateau or if I ever get to a place where I'm stagnant, that I will have extra room to increase my workout intensity. So which means if I go all out, working out seven days a week from the first day, it means that the day that I plateau, there's nothing much I can do. I'm stuck because I'm already pushing myself at 100%. There's no extra time for me to work out. However, if you find that you're working out only three days a week or two and a half days, you find that if you reach a plateau, you're able to increase your intensity from three days a week to four or five or seven days a week as per your body needs. So it gives you a reserve boost. It gives you something that you can use as a tool in case you plateau. So if you're trying to find out the minimum effective dose for yourself, there are three things that you have to keep in check. That's frequency, intensity, and duration. So you need to figure out how frequently are you working out. That's the three to five, six, seven days a week. The intensity, what is the type of intensity of the workout you're doing? And the duration, are you working out for 45 minutes? Are you working out for an hour? Are you working out for two hours? The balance between those things will help you find your minimum effective dose. And for me, in my personal journey, I found that the frequency was three days a week. I was coming to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday for over a year. And that's what I did and I am still doing. It's actually, I'll share that later, but I've only recently changed my workout frequency because my goals have changed as well. Then you're looking at the duration. How long are you gonna work out for? Do you wanna work out for two hours? Do you wanna work out for one hour? And doing the CrossFit way of things that I found myself working out only 45 minutes to an hour every one of those three days. So in a week, I was doing two and a half to three hours only on exercise. Then there's the intensity. 
Do you want to do a slow stroll? Do you want to do high intensity interval training? That will also affect your minimum effective dose. What I've found to be a good mix is having your high interval intense training like you find in CrossFit, like I'm here at the gym at the muscle bar, that it gave me the results that I wanted. So I didn't want to have to work out for two hours. So I did that and I didn't want to work out more than three days a week. And in terms of intensity now, I enjoy a higher intensity workout because it gives me extra benefits that a low intensity like walking doesn't do. If you find yourself doing high intensity, you find that you actually burn more weight or more fat or more calories during the day. But if you do lower intensity stuff, once you're done the workout, your fat burning kind of ends there. So you need to consider these things when you're choosing the way that you want to work out for fat loss. And I said I want to share how many times I now work out as opposed to when I lost that weight earlier on. And now because I've reached my fat loss goals, I now need to enter into my muscle building phase. And that is now why I'm starting to work out five days a week to make sure that I build on muscle because it's important for longevity. That muscle mass is critical if you're going to sustain weight loss and be more healthy and active in the long run. So that is now my new workout regime. I'm no longer doing three times a week and I've just started doing five times a week. But if you want to lose weight fast, don't rush. Start off with three times a week and you'll get great results. So there you go, guys. That is my lowdown and how I lost 44 kgs or almost 100 pounds working out only three days a week. But the truth is that is only half of the picture. If you want to get great results like this, you need to have your diet in check. So check out that video there where I look at how I lost 40 kgs in less than a year eating cheeseburgers. See you there.